What's up guys Oldorf here with a short video on Starknet. Today we're going to be talking about ZK land airdrop, second stage of um, Starknet DeFi Spring and the introduction of liquid staking token. Now let's start with ZK land uh, airdrop. If you previously landed some assets, borrowed assets, you may be eligible uh, in order to check your eligibility. Uh, on ZK Land app, you just go to AeroDrop and just click and check eligibility. My wallet is not eligible. I haven't done much uh, on ZK Land, to be honest. So that really comes as no surprise. Uh, you can check, by the way, what eligibility criteria are exactly. Also, right after Ethereum upgrade, Darknet also upgraded. Now the fees on the network are super low. Let's do a couple transactions and check. So basically what I'm doing here, I have uh, two lending and borrowing positions. One is on ZK land and another is on Nostra. However, I think I will pull my liquidity out of here and just move it to Nostra because Nostra airdrops in the future most likely and also i just like nostra better because i think nostra is becoming like all-in-one DeFi hub um on the stark net okay let's check transaction fees as you can see to uh repay my loan it only costs two cents now and previously transaction fees were like a couple bucks at least some transactions went to like past five bucks in fees. Okay, now I can remove my, withdraw my ETH out of here. Also two cents. This is so, like the feeling of paying such low fees is so great. I can't even describe it. Like compared to previously, it's night and day. Okay, moving on to DeFi Spring, phase two have now started uh, and you can get uh, STRK rewards now in borrowing and lending protocols. So if you take a look here, for example, on ZK land, you see very, very high APYs uh, on lending. And if you hover over that, you can see that like the majority of that is coming from STRK rewards. Now, obviously, these are projected and they, you know, change in time depending on the TVL in certain pools, in certain protocols. But nevertheless, you can get the idea uh, of the yield that you can expect. As you can see, not all pools are incentivized. It's only ETH, STRK, USDC and USDT. Uh, same pools are incentivized on Nostra, obviously. Currently, the APYs on stable coins are lower than on ZK Land. So, if we negate the factor of Nostra points, ZK Land look a little bit better right now. And not only the direct APYs are high, you can also do a looping strategy on top of that. Um, if you're not familiar with that one, you can check the Aptos video. Uh, where we did the looping on lending and borrowing protocols on areas markets. So what we can do here, for example, on Nostra or on ZK land, uh, you can do, first of all, you can do stables um, looping. Like, for example, you land USDT, you borrow USDC, you swap this USDC into USDT. Or alternatively, you can use both protocols. Like, for example, on Nostra, you will be lending USDCs and borrowing USDTs. Taking this USDTs to ZK land, uh, landing it here, borrowing USDCs. By the way, on ZK land, not only the supply APYs uh, for stables are currently higher, the borrow um, APYs for stables are also lower. So when you do the looping, you paying, um, you paying less to borrow and you getting paid more to land. Obviously, again, keep in mind that these numbers will fluctuate uh, depending on how people move their liquidity and move their positions from protocol to protocol, from pool to pool. And you can do this looping pretty deep, considering that collateral factor of stables is 80%, meaning you can borrow 80% of what you landed. I'm not going to do it on video now because I have a very limited time to finish this video and I need to run after that, but I will definitely um, 
do either stable loop or maybe strk loop i haven't decided yet so if you don't want to play with the stables uh you can also do the loop with ethereum and strk for example this would be better obviously using two uh, two protocols again for example you lend in your ETH on Nostra borrow a CRK take this STRK to ZK land land it here borrow ETH again everything is incentivized all these pools are incentivized so uh, your APYs are going to be very high however here you're not like completely protected this is not stable obviously because STRK to ETH um exchange rate may change although it's not um, very probable that it will change drastically and also considering that strk only has on nostra for example it has 60 percent uh, collateral factor and on zk land it is only 50 percent so it's better if you're doing this loop it's better to land strk on nostra uh, and land ETH on ZK land because collateral factor for ETH is 80% uh, everywhere. So yeah, definitely here because STRK has 60% um, at most uh, collateral factor, you won't be borrow as much um, as with stables. And the last loop I think worth discussing is STRK loop. So as you can see uh, right now on Nostra, there is also NST STRK token. This is effectively a liquid token. So if you go to stake, uh, you can basically stake your STRK and get NST STRK. Uh, also, there is currently 10x point boost uh, to providing, you know, STRK as um nstrk nst strk geez uh, as a collateral um however keep in mind that this pool is not incentivized even though it is marked as incentivized pool it's not incentivized and i actually checked the discord for confirmation uh from the team and the team member or the moderator i don't remember said that that landing nst strk is not incentivized with strk rewards so obviously if you're just chasing the points you can just you know land nst strk for the maximum points nah, but i don't think it's worth it to be honest I, i'd rather get strk uh tokens or from incentives so here what you can do if you believe strongly in strk uh, you can do uh, STRK loop. Uh, you basically land STRK, then you borrow the liquid token, you swap it uh, back to STRK, you do the loop. Obviously, here uh, the loop in depth is going to be the lowest simply because, again, 60% collateral factor. Also, if you want to do loop in in just one protocol in either Nostro or ZK Land, obviously, you're going to be swapping tokens, and I recommend doing it on Avenue. If you're somehow not familiar with this one, it's an aggregator. They also have the point system, so most likely at some point during 2024, we're also going to get the airdrop. Uh, there is a leaderboard that you can check, basically, Mostly it's based on the volume. So if you're doing the looping inside one protocol, not only you're gonna get crazy high APYs, uh, you're also gonna get some points for swapping uh, your tokens uh, on Avenue. So in general, I only use and track five protocols currently on Starknet. Uh, so that's been Nostra, ZK Land, Ikubo, MySwap, and Avenue. So two borrowing lending protocols, although Nostra is becoming an uh, all-in-one DeFi hub, uh, not just lending and borrowing, then ZK Land, lending and borrowing, obviously, Ikubo and MySwap DEXs, and then Avno as an aggregator, regarding other protocols. Um, I don't use them, I don't track the news, it's just too much. And honestly, like outside of top 5, lending and borrowing and DEXs, they kinda, they have very low TVL, they don't have a lot of activity, the APY is generally a bit lower, I don't know, it's just in general too much. I basically picked up top 5 protocols, 
uh, in these categories and I'm using those and I'm tracking those. Obviously, when time comes for derivatives, I'm also going to check uh, Carmine and I'm not sure what was the second one um, in terms of derivatives. I think it was perp trading, but we'll see. It's going to be uh, available in uh, phase three. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and I'll see you soon.